to Anatomy and Physiology Bio 101 at Stark State. My name is Terry Nagy and I am your instructor this semester. I thought it might be a really good idea to do a quick video tour of our class on Blackboard to help you get acquainted with where to find things and what the expectations are this semester. As you'll see right now, I have our homepage open and you'll see that there's a place for announcements and there's a place where you can find due dates and so on and so forth, but I'm going to point you to other areas that are actually going to be more useful to us. I want you to use course messages as your place to find announcements and to communicate with me. This is where I will be doing all my communication with you, so it is where I expect you to also communicate with me. We're also going to move on to the Start Here folder because this is where we're going to find our due dates rather than on our home page. So in our Start Here folder, you're going to find the video that you're watching right now as well as a second video that helps you understand how to access your assignments in Connect. You also see an overview of our class and you're going to find some information some different files with different information in them. We're not going to worry about this Blackboard Collaborative because we're not going to be using it this semester. But I encourage you to take a look at the Master and Class Syllabus. It talks about how the grades are determined, what weight is put on the tests versus the quizzes versus the, versus the homework assignments. It also tells you which textbooks you need and how to access McGraw-Hill if you're having technical problems versus the help desk at Stark State for technical problems. So there's a lot of information on the master and class syllabus. Next, you're going to find our class schedule and due dates. And I'm going to open this because I really encourage you to put this someplace where you can access it readily because you're going to find all our due dates here. You're going to see when we're having tests, when we're having quizzes, when your assignments are done, when your assignments are due. You're also going to see at the bottom when your discussion forums are, um, when the due dates are for your discussion forums. Now you'll see that there's two dates per discussion forum. The first date is when you're expected to make your initial post. The second date is when you're expected to respond to two of your classmates' posts. In order to earn all the points on your discussion forum, you have to complete both parts. So we're going to leave this, and I'm hoping that you'll put this someplace where you can access it and we're going to go back to our start here folder and we're going to take a look at a couple other things. So we also have netiquette guidelines which is how I expect you to interact with each other when you're doing your discussion forums. The next folder has my expectations of you this semester and what you should expect from me this, this semester in regards to response times and grading of, pay, grading of assignments etc. The last link on this page is this introductory discussion forum and we're going to go ahead and open it and I'm going to show you how to access this discussion forum. Since we're not meeting face to face, I think it makes sense for us to introduce ourselves to each other. So what you're going to do is click on this link that says create a thread and it's going to pull up our discussion forum. There's guidelines up here on what I would like you to put in your forum. You'll see here that I've already made a post. In order for you to make a post, you need to scroll down and click on this little pink um, plus sign. You'll see my name is automatically added because I've actually signed on to the website that um, this discussion forum is um, part of, but you're going to need to make sure you put your name on this if you want to get credit for your forum. So now we're going to go to our lessons folder you're going to see that there are quite a few things in our lessons folder. You have an exam and quizzes um, file. This is where you're going to access all your exams and quizzes based on the due dates that you'll find in your Start Here folder. Um, you're also going to see that each, um, each unit is then broken down into several chapters. We're going to open up Unit 1 first. You'll see that we have Chapter 1, Chapter 2, Chapter 3, Chapter 4. They're all part of Unit 1. You also see that we have a practice exam in this folder, which I strongly encourage you to complete because it'll help you do better on the real exam. When we open up Chapter 1, 
we're going to see that we have a materials folder and an assignment folder. And this is going to be found in each of your chapters. You're going to have two folders with inside those files. When you open the materials folder, this is where you're going to find your PowerPoint and your lecture. It's really important that this is the only place you access the PowerPoint, simply because these are the lectures that I've actually added audio to the PowerPoint so that it helps explain the concepts that you're learning about. If you access PowerPoints any place else, whether on, on Blackboard or in Connect, you're not going to have the audio. You'll see that there's some information here on how to prepare for your first quiz, and there's also a folder that contains the quiz terms. It's really important for you to understand that you will be graded on spelling for these words, so make sure you know how to spell them correctly. We're going to go back out of our um, materials folder, and you'll, we're also going to open up the assignment folder, which is also contained in each of the chapters. We're going to talk a little bit more about this, these concepts in a couple minutes, um, but these are the uh, homework assignments that must be completed per chapter. You're going to earn 15 points per homework assignment, and this comes down to impacting your grade from being an A or a B or a B or a C. When all these points add up, it can be that big of a deal on your grade. So we're going to go back to our lessons folder. We're also going to see, um, we're actually going to go back to our unit one. We're also going to see we have a discussion forum here. You'll have a discussion forum each and every unit. You'll have a couple dates. Again, remember the first date is when you need to respond by with your initial post. The second date is when you need to respond to two of your classmates' posts. We're going to go ahead and open it. Again, you're going to create a thread, but this one's going to be different. This one is going to have information. There's going to be directions that you need to read, and then you're going to have to pick one of these questions to answer. You will then post it in this box and post it to the discussion forum. We're going to scroll down on the left-hand side, and we're going to go to what is labeled as course tools and we're going to scroll down a little bit further and we're going to find the McGraw Hill link which we're going to connect on. You should have information on how to link to connect. The code that came along with your textbook is what is needed in order for you to actually sign up with connect and I'm going to show you why this is important here in a minute. So we're going to go to my connect section. It's going to open up the instructors view but I'm going to show you the student view as well. So the student view is what is opening now. This is what you will see when you open Connect through the McGraw-Hill link. This is where you're going to access all of your homework assignments, your quizzes, and your exams. Now the next uh, video that I have posted goes into specifics on how to actually um, Work, way, work your way through this material, but I just wanted to show you where everything is. So we're going to go back out of here, and we're going to go back to Blackboard. And one of the last things I want to show you is where to find your grades, which is going to be down here at the Grade Center. I'm not going to click on this because it's the instructor view and it's going to show me everybody's name and for confidentiality sakes, sake we're not going to do that, but this is where you're going to find your grades. Everything that you complete on Connect will automatically be graded and placed in, placed in the gradebook on Blackboard. It's for, for one exception, there is one exception and that's your quizzes. Your quizzes have to be hand graded by me. Lots of times in past semesters, students will get a little upset when they complete a quiz because Connect does not have the ability to look at possible human error. And sometimes if you include a word that is not part of the answer, let's say you say it's the saphenous vein and all Connect wanted you to write was saphenous, you will actually get that question wrong even though it's correct. So that's why I go back in and hand grade them. 
So please don't get upset about your quiz grades until I have actually emailed you and informed you that the quizzes have been hand graded and that they have been updated in Blackboard. Now again, there's a lot of information. I really encourage you to go through the Start Here folder and I encourage you to watch our Connect Assignment folder so you understand how to do all those. But if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to reach out to me. That is what I am here for, to help you get through this semester and learn as much as you can about anatomy and physics.